scary stories from shark attack survivors. Rodney Fox. Freestyle diver Rodney Fox was participating in a spearfishing competition off the South Australian coast in 1963 when he was grabbed around the middle by a great white shark. After waging an ongoing battle with the shark that saw it leave and return for more, Fox wrapped his arms around the beast and rode it under the sea while incurring more bites. With bites all over his body, he eventually returned to the surface and was picked up by a rescue boat. Bites had left Fox's lungs, upper stomach, rib cage, and numerous arm bones exposed. So his rescuers left his wetsuit on in order to keep his internal organs together and to save his life. Dolphin Rescue. A group of lifeguards who found themselves swimming off the coast of New Zealand in 2004 owe their lives to a pack of dolphins. While out on a training swim, Rob Howe said he and three female lifeguards noticed strange behavior coming from a pod of dolphins nearby. The dolphins circled the swimmers and began beating the water with their fins. Howe got outside of the circle, at which point he noticed a huge great white shark nearby. As it drew closer, the dolphin circled faster to create a frantic whirlwind of activity that the shark wanted no part of. Even as a rescue boat arrived, the dolphins did not leave until every swimmer was safely out of the water. Bethany Hamilton Bethany Hamilton is the most famous entry on this list, with a story that served as the basis for the 2011 film Soul Surfer. At 13 years of age and already Hawaii's best female surfer in 2003, Hamilton was attacked by a shark while lying on her board. The shark bit off her arm, which was dangling off the board in the water at the shoulder. Her friends managed to apply a tourniquet, but she had already lost 60% of her blood and needed many surgeries to return to full health. Not ready to call it quits, Hamilton returned to surfing just one month later and even won a national title two years after the accident. Vala and Sydney Levy. Hell hath no fury like a mother whose daughter is in danger. In 2012, 15-year-old Sydney Levy was pulled underwater while sitting on her surfboard off the coast of New Smyrna Beach in Florida. Her mother, Vala, who was sitting nearby, acted quickly to grab Sydney by the shoulders and pull her to safety on her own surfboard. They were soon saved by rescuers and emergency medical personnel who were already on high alert thanks to another shark attack that had occurred in the area minutes earlier. Sydney needed surgery on her foot, but was otherwise fine. Joshua Hawley. Experienced 28-year-old surfer Joshua Hawley knew of the dangers that lurked below the ocean's surface, so he knew what he had to do upon getting bitten on the foot by a tiger shark while surfing on Hawaii's North Shore. Hawley held his ground against the shark and even punched it twice in the face before the shark retreated. Hawley's foot suffered some severed tendons and required 42 stitches, but the bite missed all major arteries. Who knows what damages might have been sustained if Hawley hadn't remained so cool-headed among such scary circumstances. Russell Easton. While humans may find sharks to be spectacular and fascinating creatures, it's important to remember that we can be just as foreign and intriguing to them as they are to us. Professional underwater photographer and diver Russell Easton was capturing pictures of this 12-foot tiger shark in the Bahamas in 2012 when the shark, in turn, took an interest in Easton. The shark bit into Easton's camera out of curiosity, at which point the quick-thinking photographer forced the camera further into its mouth before managing to swim away to safety. Easton didn't believe the shark was looking to attack, but rather was exploring this foreign curiosity by using its mouth. The Pregnant Lifeguard An unnamed lifeguard and mother-to-be showed some seriously poor judgment when she decided to take a swim alone in the murky water behind the breakers at Florida's Treasure Shores Beach. With only about two feet of visibility, she couldn't anticipate a five-foot drop-off in the water, at which point she was bitten and forcibly bumped by an unseen shark. With her partner unable to hear her calls for help, she was forced to swim to shore on her own. Luckily for her, the shark lost interest soon after tasting her flesh. She did, however, require 100 stitches in her leg, multiple wrist surgeries, and lots of therapy. Mick Fanning. Where athletes in most sports have to contend with trivial distractions such as catcalls from the crowd and maybe some towel waving during free throws, Mick Fanning had to grapple with an entirely different kind of disruption while he competed at this year's J Bay Open World Surf League event in South Africa. Fanning had reached the final against fellow Aussie Julian Winston when a great white came up behind him and attacked, chomping through the leg rope of his surfboard before Fanning was able to temporarily fend it off with punches. Miraculously, rescuers reached the pro surfer as he frantically swam away before any harm could be done. We hope you enjoyed this video from the safety of your not-so-aquatic home. Here's some other videos that we think you might like, and don't you dare forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks!